First of all, nobody will be denied. How many people have you known that they have denied access to health care? No co-payments. I believe a lot of sick people cannot make it to the doctor's office because they don't have co-payments. I can attest to that on so many. It's really tough out there, folks. No co-payments, you just have the enrollment once a year, and you will, you will get all these beautiful services, and everything will be in peace. My staff, 95% of their time, they're spending getting authorizations for companies that will not pay nothing anyway in five years. So like I told you earlier, they're just trying to shut you down, trying to get you out of business and go to bankruptcy, and that's it. No referral necessary, and then you can open enrollment. And what I did is that I, I had uh, like a 24-7 um, um, a, uh, button on the website, and people can enroll through a PayPal service. We have two offices, but I made this event in Hernando because I started in Hernando, and Hernando is very close, you know, and, and very sentimental to me, and all the bases in Hernando. But I do have another office in Wesley Chapel. Um, I started there about a year and a half behind Sam's Club. If anybody comes to Wesley Chapel area, uh, we're across the street from Wiregrass Mall. So if anybody comes shopping, we're, we're across the street. Uh, they can see us uh, uh, there as well. I cannot tell you how to go and help them unless we started with this new technology-based e-consult and e-clinic. We can have uh, people anywhere in the world Anywhere in the United States, send us a, a PDF file with their medical data. We can look at it and give them a recommendation back, or they can have face-to-face -face conversation through Skype, and we can actually do that. So there's always a change, and the change is the only real thing that, that can actually happen in our lives. So what we do, we adapt to the change, and we bring in hope, and we bring it in the new era of healthcare, and we try to make that available to you right in your backyard. Can you tell where this picture is? Now, my patient go there and send me an email from the pyramid. All right? And, um, you know, that's what I was giving you, the, the impression of being globality, you know, the, the global nature of, of it. So the enrollment, if you want to go to the enrollment, uh, this is a 24-7. If someone wants to enroll online, they can do that from the comfort of their home. If anybody's interested, we have for the 20 to 65, and then also from 65 and above for the wellness agreement, we have it in the back. And we do 150 a month. Somebody prepaid a year uh, in advance, rather than paying 1800, they will all get 10% discount, so they'll do 1620. And we're gonna get 5% back to the community to help with food bank, to fight hunger, and give people hope for the less fortunate, because everybody has to eat. And I've been a patient of Dr. L. about 15 years. Actually, when I became a patient, he was opening the first office in Brooksville. And I've been very impressed with Dr. Eddie, with his compassion, what he showed me. From day one and 15 years later, compassion is the same. And I've lived in this county for about 20 years. And I became his patient five years after I was here. And I've been through a lot of doctors around here. And Dr. Elvin was than any other doctor showed me more compassion than I've experienced from any doctor in my whole life, 59 years old. I moved to Ocala, and I was so impressed with the way Dr. Eldon treated me as a patient. I still travel from Ocala to come to Brookville, Springfield, to be his patient because I've tried other doctors in the location where I live, and it just did not measure up. Now I'm getting ready to move to Jacksonville, Florida, and I still will be his patient. That's how impressed I am with him, not just as a doctor, just as a human being, and the way he treated me at first. And I want to say, 
I signed up for this program we have, and I've been using it for the past two months, and it has saved me quite a bit of money. Basically, my co-pay every year to him was way more than what I'm paying now for this year benefit package you have. And I would encourage everyone to really look into it. There's a lot of games and scams out here, but I can testify for Dr. Eldon, and I really hope that the benefit I get from this program, other people can experience it also. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, I think that I think it's wrong that you have to sit and get a, perm, a script from a doctor. You have to beg for it to see your heart doctor. I have begged ever since the 16th of last month to the 31st of last month to see my heart doctor. Now, if you have a heart attack, what are you supposed to do? You go in the hospital, that wouldn't give them to me then. So, I mean, you've got a lot of problems out there with people, primaries, that just don't want to listen to you. And I think it's got to be changed. I think a lot of doctors need to have, have nice bedside manners. I'm pretty sure all of you have run into a lot of doctors who never did that. You're not the only one I can really say that has a terrific bedside manner. And I'm really proud of him. I really am. When I first went to him, I was scared to death. <laughs> I didn't know what was wrong. But he told me everything. Doctors don't tell you that. They don't tell you what's wrong with you. I'm still guessing. I'm guessing about my lungs. I'm guessing about my bones, arthritis I'm supposed to have. Nobody tells me anything. Because this doctor here is stood by me. I've known him now for almost six years. And I would not be here today, I don't believe, if I had to listen to primaries. I think we should just not even have the scripts. I think we ought to be able to go to our doctors that we need. I think we just order just be able to just walk in. If we have a heart problem, go to your heart problem doctor. Not wait for some doctor to tell you, oh, well, we'll get it over to I waited all last month. See my doctor. I did not want to go in the hospital. He kept me out of the hospital. And we need more doctors on campus. And less doctors that claims to be on your side and for your help. And I really do believe that. So thank you. I appreciate it. About three weeks ago, I had to take her to the ER. She wasn't my wife then, that's why she wasn't covered. She's covered now. But I ended up getting the bill for $8,000. She's only in there for four hours. The doctor seen her once and looked at her and said, well, you got a bad kidney infection. Gave her an antibiotic, says goodbye, never seen him again. Got another bill. $1,200. He wasn't there five minutes. What are we going to do about all of this eventually? A lot of people don't have medical coverage. They're incapable of getting it. They're on a small income. That's why I think Dr. Aldean's program is great. It'll save the people a lot of money and help everyone. I just have something to say to Dr. Aldean. When we came down here uh, in 2001, they gave up on Larry. The doctors in New York gave up on him and said there was nothing they could do for him. He has 17% EF factor. Um, he has diabetes. He had a lot of problems. He was overweight. And then we came down and we saw Dr. Eldin's, um, what do you call it, billboard. And I said, that's a preventive doctor. We're going to try him. So we go to him. He gave us a discount in the beginning because we couldn't afford it. And then all I have to say is he's still here. He's been in the hospital many times. 
And Dr. Eldon promised to keep him alive until we were able to get married. And he did. How has it been the last how many years? I, I, <clears throat> I think it's, it's going to be around 11 years now that I am with Dr. Eldin. I'm going to keep you alive, okay? And he has. He's not a doctor, he's a friend of mine, you know? He's for the family. And I, I appreciate him a lot. Well, like a brother, you can say. <laughs> My name is Winifred Edgecombe, and three years ago, I had a very bad bacterial infection, <clears throat> which left a cluster on my heart. Dr. Eldeen was the one that found that and saved my life. And I've been going to him periodically ever since, and now he's found out that I have peripheral disease of my legs. And he's trying, he's treating that now. And uh, I'm very happy. He's the most wonderful doctor I've met. And he asked me one day, who's your doctor? I said, you are. <laughs>